Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will show you how to make this servo tester with 80 tiny 85 microcontroller. So let's get started with this video. So for this project, you will need 80 tiny 85 microcontroller, a potentiometer. Then a breadboard, you can also use a zero PCB board, a servo motor for testing. So first we will need to program this AT Tiny 85. And follow the circuit diagram to connect your AT Tiny with Arduino. To make it simpler, I am designing my own PCB to program our AT Tiny 85 microcontroller. So to order our PCBs, I am visiting jlcpcb.com. So first sign in with your Google ID, then click on code now and add your Gearbox file over here. Link to download this Gerber file is in the description down below. Now after uploading, you can select the quantity and color of your PCB and simply place your order. The quality of this PCB is extremely good. So now we'll quickly place our components and start soldering this PCB. Now before uploading the program, we will remove this PCB from our Arduino Uno board and directly connect our Arduino Uno with your computer. Now go to file, go to examples and click on Arduino ISP. Over here, just select the board that is Arduino Uno, then you can select the port and simply upload the code. After uploading, connect our PCB to Arduino Uno with 80Tiny85 on it. Now open our code. You can find this in the description down below. Now select the board that is 80Tiny85. Select the frequency, select the port, select Arduino's ISP and burn bootloader. After this finishes, just simply upload the code. And that's it, we have uploaded the code to our ATtiny 85 Now follow the circuit diagram and make your connections. We are using 4 output for 4 servos, so we can control 4 servos at the same time. Now to avoid all these wiring connections, I am using PCB board. I am soldering all these components on this zero PCB board and make it more compact. So after soldering, this is how our PCB looks like. So isn't it very compact? 
to use. So now I am using USB 5V power to power this whole circuit. And I am also using the servo motor for testing. So now as you rotate the potentiometer knob, the servo will also respond accordingly. So this is how we made our small servo tester with itty tiny 85 microcontroller. So friends if you like this project then hit the thumbs up button below, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.